Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. I am Robot Revenge Sniper Mate, and welcome back to another brand new video. And also, no, I don't have the top six, uh, top six right now because we're just doing the reasons now. Because, well, because the due to the emanation that it got too voiced clipped in and mostly got a little bit off cute. So pretty much. Don't know why my emanations kind of do that for a little bit of a reason. It usually doesn't do that unless it just records itself like for a short amount of minutes every single part of it. So don't know why though, but it just does. So anyway, ladies and gentlemen, here's the reasons why I hate Alejandro from Total Drama World Tour. And obviously, let's just begin it, shall we? So before we are going to say anything, like I mean anything to say from here, I'm going to say is that why did Alejandro did this? He flirted with Lindsay, which is Tyra's girlfriend. Like, bruh. Bruh. Like, how stupid can that even be? Like, bruh. And obviously, he flirted with Bridget with Jeff's girlfriend when Jeff didn't even notice in the aftermath, which he almost did, and now he already completely did. And I liked how Jeff was going to stay strong with Bridget along the way. Pretty much that he wouldn't answer because he would rather be cool as a villain. Like, almost like, gee, like, man, Jeff, you're just like a big pro. Like, I mean, you're really a big pro. And obviously, uh, yeah. And also, the reason that I was almost staying in the game because, well, I think Alejandro was a pretty bit of a good player. It's just that I had different skill techniques than he did, so... Pretty much that's the only reason too. And obviously, what the most rudest thing I ever saw him was that he was trying to expose me from a different reason in different clips. So pretty much that's why he went after this again. And obviously, I didn't really care how much the reasons can get that bad from against that. So pretty much Alejandro was the most cheater in Total Drama World Tour in the biggest cheats. And when, yes, Everyone can know and everyone will always will know that Alejandro have cheated uh, several times, but not really though. He just cheated from season three. So pretty much, yes, I did saw that from season two, you know. I just saw that where he appeared again from, you know, the end of season two. But I think where season three actually really got off was that Alejandro showed up and mostly Sierra. Which, pretty much, that really went on a different role of a different case, though. But it kind of went different. So, anyway, that's the only big reason that I might have to say there or add it on a book. But not really, though. If it ever was a book, then I might be reading about it. But not really, though. I'm just making that as a joke for a book. But, anyways, so, pretty much, that's the reason why I hated Alejandro. I did hate him a little bit. But I probably did hate him when uh, when everyone else were against me, like in the final five. So pretty much, that's where Fane's really pissed me off again. Like, you know, I was uh, playing the voice of Duncan because, well, you know, wow. Just absolute bogus. And also, hey, I could have saved myself to be in the final freaking four. Like, bruh. That's just the amount of cheating because I know it was my time to go. I know it was my time. Like, I mean, really, I sticked so long. Like, I mean, pretty much I've sticked long from season one, two, and then freaking damn number three. Like, I've sticked so long for three seasons. Like, I mean, I stayed as a damn true boss. Like, I stayed there completely from different reasons, absolutely. Anyway, so pretty much that's the reasons why I hate Alejandro from season three of Total Drama World Tour, and mostly a little bit from Total Drama um, action though. But like I said though, I don't pretty much care about the you know the other one, uh, got, uh, other people trying to like you know the ones from the show that are trying to go against me for a reason. But hey, I try to stay cool, okay? I try to stay cool. And also, this is my perspective, okay? Just remember, it's my opinion and my perspective. And also, yeah, thanks. Anyways, thank you guys for listening, and thanks for enjoying, by the way. And no, I'm not going to be making other videos, though. But good news, though, is I'm getting a new laptop, though. But like I said, though, pretty much I will get a new laptop, and I'll pretty much work the keys here. So pretty much I'll snap you guys as two pictures, though, about different laptops. So anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video, and see you for next time. Bye-bye, everyone. Signing out.